Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the Republican presidential primaries. We're going to talk about Iowa. We're going to talk about New Hampshire. We're going to talk about Trump, Haley, DeSantis. We're going to talk about the results, where it goes from here, what happens next. Okay, so if you have somehow missed the news, Trump won in Iowa. DeSantis looks like came in second. Haley came in a very close third. Um, the coverage on this is going to be Trump wins in a landslide from the Republican outlets. And it's a true statement. Generally speaking, 10 points is a landslide. Um, from the outlets that lean towards the Democratic Party, you're going to see stuff like Trump is still the ring to kiss or something like that, showing that he has control over the Republican Party because for the Democratic Party, it's kind of good for Trump to be the opposition because he is a very divisive figure, energizes their base. And that enthusiasm is really important. And that's where the trouble comes in for Trump. Yeah, he won, but almost half of Republican caucus goers in Iowa wanted somebody else, wanted somebody other than Trump. That does not speak well for the enthusiasm. Trump, being a divisive character, he needs the Republican Party firmly united behind him, and he needs independence. If half of Republican caucus goers want somebody else, he doesn't have the enthusiasm he needs. And it's important to remember that Iowa sets the tone. People have taken that to mean that who wins in Iowa wins the nomination. That's not what that means. If that was the case, well, just go ask President Ted Cruz. Because that's who won in 2016. It means it sets the tone. This isn't a good tone for the former president. He is supposed to be somebody who has the Republican Party united behind him. He's supposed to be somebody that the Republican Party is bringing back because the people really want him. That's not what the caucus said. Um, now, from here, what happens? New Hampshire is next. The live free or die state is next. Trump is not polling as well in New Hampshire as he was in Iowa. Haley is expected to do better in New Hampshire than she did in Iowa. Now, these events may shift that a little bit. Um, We'll have to wait and see if there's any polling next week, but or this week. The, uh, the end result of all of this, though, is that Trump may have uh, turned that saying on himself. You can't win a primary without Trump, but you can't win a general with him. The level of enthusiasm and support that he has, I don't think that's going to cut it in the general. Because some of those people who showed up to that caucus wanting somebody else, they knew what they would get with Trump. And they wanted somebody else. They may not vote for him in the general. Or they may not show up because they can't bring themselves to vote, vote for Biden. Um, Trump is still likely to get the nomination, depending on what happens with his legal entanglements. But unless he can do something about the enthusiasm, he, he's going to have an issue in the general. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.